still think I nailed it on take seven. Hey, that shit was fucked up last night, right? Hey, Biff! Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot. You ruined the fucking shot! What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot. It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> Don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like, but What about my money? We're shooting a show here, trying to work. Hello? I'll just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one. Please, we're shooting something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, where, now where were we? Uh, guys, do, do we have enough shots of me jumping around the corner? Uh, I think we're good. Well, uh, hey, get the fuck out of my van! Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael, Devin Weston, did he, does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal, so now, He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss.
Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> My people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah, okay, sure, man, sure. All right, let's get back to the lot. Just hold, hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent. Just what? You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Get 
Surprise. Anton, my boy! You're an artist, I know that! And this hey, story yeah. is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya! So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be OK if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I got to go. Oh, hell yeah. dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh. Let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there. Get them going at speed. I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does two hey, point seven? How about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. 
Ooh. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Coming up now, man. Be there in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. They'll stop eventually. Am I gaining on them or is that my imagination? Our patience will be rewarded. Stay with them. Let's do this. Let's get them. How you doing, team? We gotta hang in there. We're driving into Polito Bay. Traffic might slow them down. I'm on them. How far are they taking us? I can swear we've circled half the state. Frank's still on them. The dickhead probably wanted to stop and take the heat. As long as we can keep with them, we'll pull this off.
car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we are sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay. Just don't scratch the cars. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South L.S. for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. Well, looks like you guys are fighting it out for second and third. The lead horse always burns out before the end. Hey, Frank. Yeah? What'd I tell you, bro? These cars, <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. Before I met you, I was boosting rise and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. <laughs> hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Now, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like to you what you were to me. I see your house. I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm... Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter, 
The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Mr. Revolutionary. What? The smoke in. I'm at City Hall. I'm the only fool here. Uh, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I, uh, uh, I didn't forget I was busy. Yeah, busy, that's it. <laughs> Fight the power. A sorry will kill you. Flaky motherfucker, I should have known. Jackson Skinner, he's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill, shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie, I'll be in touch. No, I am not in Hello there! Damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You want to party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Get down? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. Whatever. You ain't nothing. I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, baby. What can I get for ten bucks? You can get the bus home and jerk off thinking about me. Get the fuck out of here. feel bad about it. Hey, man, I'll wipe that software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. Is a main 
Hell yeah. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Well, you're late, late, late. That'll be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't it? Fair hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Attention passengers, please hold on to your fucking seats. Stop the bus, you maniac! Hey, I thought you needed a ride, homie. Just business shit, you know how it is. Good to go. 